Today, let's perform one-way ANOVA in SPSS. This statistics is commonly used to compare the means of more than two groups. The following are the assumptions. First, the dependent variable should be measured on a continuous scale. That would mean that the dv must be in an interval or a ratio level. Second, the independent variable should consist of more than two categorical independent groups. Third, there should be independence of observations, meaning there must be different participants in each group. Fourth, there should be no significant outliers. And the fifth is that the dependent variable should be approximately normally distributed for each group of the independent variable. This is an example research question. Is there a significant difference in the overall satisfaction of parents in school services when grouped according to educational attainment? So the DV here is the overall satisfaction, which is measured in mean scores, while the independent variable is the educational attainment with three groups. We have elementary, high school, and college. So let's answer this research question using ANOVA test in SPSS. Now let's use SPSS to analyze one-way analysis of variance. To perform one-way ANOVA, you click Analyze, Compare Means, and select One-Way ANOVA. You place your dependent variable, the overall satisfaction, to the dependent list, and the education, which is our independent variable, to the factor. You click Options and check Descriptive. Click Continue and click OK. Now let's look at the results of analysis. There are two tables that are generated. The first table is the descriptive statistics showing the mean score per group. So we have three groups that are categorized according to educational attainment of parents. So those parents at elementary level have a mean score of 3.94, while those at high school level have a mean score of 1.70, and those at the college level have a mean score of 1.53. But to know whether these mean scores are significantly different from each other, then we have to look at the ANOVA table. So in the ANOVA table, we have the F value, which is the ratio of two different measure of variance for the data, and the P value, which is our determinant whether we will accept or reject the null hypothesis. So since the p-value is less than 0 0.05, then we can say that there is a significant difference in the level of satisfaction of parents in school services when grouped according to educational attainment. So if the ANOVA is significant, then we have to do a post hoc test, which is a follow-up test to determine which among the groupings have significant difference. But if the ANOVA is not significant, then we do not need to perform the post hoc test. So since our result is significant, then we have to perform the post hoc. So to perform the post hoc, we have to click Analyze, Compare Means, and select One Way ANOVA. Click Post Hoc button and we have here a lot of post hoc tests but we will use the LSD click continue and click OK now let's see the results of post hoc tests this test will give us multiple comparisons per group so between elementary and high school it generates a p-value that is less than 0.05 this means that there is a significant difference in the level of satisfaction between elementary and high school. By looking at the mean scores, those at elementary level have higher mean satisfaction with a value of 3.94 than those at high school level with only 1.70. In other words, elementary level parents are more satisfied than high school level parents. We can also compare elementary and college, which shows a p-value that is less than 0 
This means that there is a significant difference between the two groups. By looking again the mean scores, elementary level parents have higher satisfaction than the college level parents. We can also compare high school and college and it generates a p-value of 0.719 which is above 0 0.05. This means that there is no significant difference in the level of satisfaction between high school and college. In other words, their level of satisfaction are most likely the same.